Once I skipped a funeral to mourn my own demise. And now I wish that I had tried that funeral on for size. So that when my time comes and I may die, I will know exactly what the others think when time has gone by. Will they picture me as dead or flying in the clouds ahead? I don't know. Just how people's minds go. But oftentimes I may stop and take a glance of all those around me and feel my heart hop. For I am alive, not yet dead, and somewhere in my mind slumbers a deep secret of how I used to be and who I want to see come into the world and let the others be, let them learn who they are, stop telling them what to be. And I will sink into the earth and feel flowers growing out of my brain from the tips of my toes out my nose. I will be one with the earth and no one can tell me otherwise as I lay down in the stream like Ophelia and hope that I don't have to scream. I will feel calm and peaceful as the stream rolls over my thighs and my breasts and fills my lungs and every little seed and tadpole takes home inside each one of my alveoli and I hope and I pray to the skies above that I will never become a dove not to fly and bear good peace but to rest beneath the seaweeds and never cease to flow back and forth and rock in the water and the stream and Ophelia may lie beneath me and her arms may grasp my gentle keening as I feel her hands around my waist and keeps me calm with her grace. I have never known no more than to suspect that I was always poor. Poor of heart or poor in wealth Yet I went through this world full of stealth, trying to avoid the gazes of others who only saw me as nothing but paupers, laying in fields and ripping up my bread, torn from the very roots of the things that I had said. But now I eat my words, this grain ground, barely smooth, and catches in my teeth, and I forever wooed at the idea, the thought that this is me, that I have nothing to look forward to and nothing to leave. That peaceful assurance, the fearless calm of knowing that I will forever be there to witness the dawn.